today we're going to be talking about estimating sums and differences. Okay? So today we're going to be talking about how to understand and how to estimate both sums and differences using rounding. Okay, so the important parts are estimating sums and differences using rounding. Okay? So rounding and estimating will be explained during the lesson, so I don't have to explain that now. Although we're going to talk about sums and differences. It's a quick overview. Okay? So what is a sum? Okay, what is a sum? Well, that is the total in an addition problem of addition problem. Okay? What is a difference? Right? We have to know both. The difference is similar. It is a total of a subtraction problem. Okay, so now that we know what the video is going to be about and we understand our objective, let's get estimating sums. Okay, so first we have to figure out what operation is it. Okay, is it subtraction, addition? What is it? The clue here is this word, sums. Sums is a total of an addition problem, right? So, it has to be an addition. Okay? So let's do a problem. We have 84 plus 39. Okay, so now we have to estimate. How do we estimate? Okay, how do we do that? To do that, we have to round, okay? Because rounding will get us a number that is close to the answer, and that's an estimate, okay? So let's round 84 to the nearest 10 because there's a number in the tens place, okay? Draw a number line, or I'll try to at least. There you go. Have 80, 81, 82, 83, 84. Okay, we're going to draw a point there. Okay, because that's our number here. We're going to keep going. 85, 86. We're going to extend this. 87, 88. 89 and 90. Okay, I know that got a little smushed at the end, but let's go with that. Okay, so now let's do this. Which one is it closer to? Let's make the jumps. 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this to go this way is 4. Now let's make the jumps this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So to go this way, Take 6. Which one is less? 4, 6. Okay, so let's zoom in there. 4 is less than 6. So, 84 is closer to 80. So now, we have rounded this number to 80 plus 30 or 40. Okay, so now we have that process. But, since this one is kind of obvious, 39 is 1 away from 40, and 9 away from 30, that means that it's 80 plus 40, because 39 runs 40. Now let's do the problem. 8 plus 4, well, 120. Okay? So that is how to estimate sums. So we've covered that. Now we're going to talk about how to estimate differences. Okay? So now, again, you have to figure out what is the operation? What are we doing here? Okay? How do we do this? What are we doing? It's differences. Okay. Difference is the total of a subtraction problem. Okay, so that means it is a subtraction problem we're doing now. So let's do this. Minus. Now let's do a problem. Let's do 92 minus 34. Okay, I know I like the number 30. Okay. Let's do this. So let's round 92. 90, 90 is how much away from 92, right? So, 92 minus 90 equals 2. So, it's 2 away from 90. Okay? Now, let's figure out how far is it away from 100. 100 minus 92. Okay? That would equal 8. So, it looks like 2 is less than 8 less than 8, so it's 
closer to 90. So now we have 90 minus, minus what? 34, right? 34 is two, 4 away, right? And let's check. 34 minus 30 equals 4. So it's 4 away. 30, 40 minus 34 equals 6. 4 is less than 6, so it's closer to 30. So 90 minus 30, 60. Okay? So that would be close to our answer. So that is how to estimate differences. Okay, so today we're going to be having three questions. And as usual, I want you to post your scores in the comments below. And remember, don't post your answers. Okay, don't spoil it for our future viewers. Okay, just your scores. Do I get two out of three, three out of three, something like that. Okay, so I want you to pause the video and take a second to give it a go on your own. Okay, so I'm assuming that you paused the video and tried it out for yourself. And now, I'm going to check your answers here. Let's go do this thing. Okay, so we have 237 plus 589. Okay, so I'm sure you've guessed by now that you can't actually do that. I'm not asking you to do that. I want you to estimate that problem. Okay, so we have 240, 240, okay, because 237 is 3 away from 240, but 7 away from 230. So 240 plus 589, which would be rounded to 590 because it's only 1 away from 590. So it would be 9 away from 580. So here you go. Now let's add. 0, 4, let's regroup, and 8. 830. So, 237 plus 589 has an estimate of 530. Okay, answer here is 530. You got that? Bravo. Next, we have 93 minus 74. Okay, let's do this thing. Zoom in here. 93, okay, would be rounded to what? Okay, well, let's see. It's... 7 away from 100, but it's only 3 away from 90, so it's 90 minus 74, which would round to either 80 or 70. Well, it's 4 away from 70, but 6 away from 80. 4 is less than 6, so 90 minus 70 is the question here. 0, 2, 20. So the answer here is 20. Let's go down. Now we have 89 minus 27. Okay, so now again, let's do the same process. 89 rounds to what? Okay, is it 80 or 90? Of course, it's 1 away from 90, but 9 away from 80, so it's 90 again. Now we have 27. Okay, which, what does this round to? Let's figure this out. It has 3 away, 30, and 7 away from 20, so it is 30. 90 minus 30 is the question. Well, let's solve the question. Zero, six, six, C. So the answer here is 60. Okay. All right, folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe.